Okay, next I want to show you some of these really ridiculous New Bible perversions. Uh, you see, back in the old days, back in the early 1900s and on up through probably till the 1950s, 1960s, 70s, the big debate was here over these two texts, the Receptus, the Nestles, Alexandrian, Antiochian. That was the big debate. But now, now that the people, now that Christianity has accepted this text with the perversions involved, the Roman Catholic Bibles, now they're starting to depart from this. And there are translations that are coming out all the time that don't even line up with the Nestle's text anymore. And I'm going to show you a whole pile of these new versions. You aren't going to believe what's in some of these Bibles. Let me show you. Okay, the first one we're going to look at here is this one, uh, the good news for a modern man, more like bad news for a modern man. And we'll look at the words of Peter, the Apostle Peter in the book of Acts. Peter answered him, may you and your money go, there you go. So you have Peter using profanity in the Bible, cussing a guy out. Real nice, real classy. Then we have this thing, this perverted thing, the uh, hippie Bible, the living Bible. This thing came out, I guess, in the 1970s. Kenneth Taylor, I think, was the guy's name. But look at this thing. This is unbelievable. How about that? You want your kids reading that? Isn't that something? Let's look at one in the New Testament. How about that one? Do you think the Lord inspired that? Now here's one of the more perverted ones that came out. This one was put out by, uh, uh, let me, i have to zoom in here a little bit, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. I uh, need to study that guy sometime, he's something else too. But here we have the Lord's Prayer, and again, our Father in Heaven, reveal who you are, set the world right, do what's best, as above so below comes right out of black magic Satanism. That statement, as above, so below. That's straight out of the occult. Keep us alive with three square meals. Keep us forgiven with you and forgiving others. Keep us safe in our, from ourselves and the devil. You're in charge. You can do anything you want. You're ablaze in beauty. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. And this is a Bible. And this thing is very, very popular, by the way, among modern apostate, quote-unquote, Christians. Uh, Rick Warren quotes from this thing a lot, all right? Another false prophet. I mean, it's horrible. And again, no manuscript evidence at all behind that thing. They just make it say whatever they want. Here we have the Today's New International Version. This is a feminist Bible. They take words like man out over 1,700 something times. I can't remember the exact number. I did a collation of this, the NIV and the King James Version, and uh, I documented 5,000 places where words like Jesus or God or man or Father were taken out or perverted. I mean, it's, it's incredible. This is available at our website and uh, the video where I cover this uh, the new versions more in detail, the NIV and the TNIV, from NIV to KJV, talking about why I gave up the NIV. These are both available at kingjamesvideoministries.com. Okay, the next one I want to show you is the Picture Bible. Well, what would be the, uh, another good way to get rid of the words of God? By giving teenagers pictures. So you make the whole quote-unquote Bible a comic book. That way they don't hide the words of God in their heart. So when they go to answer somebody, 
They don't have the words of God. They just have images in their mind. Images which are replaced very easily by TV and movies. Again, another corrupt new Bible perversion. Now this one here is kind of a weird one. Child's story Bible. Looks like a guy sitting there. But then if you come back, looks like a woman's face. <laughs> kind of weird. I just thought that was a weird picture. But I do want to warn about these child's story Bibles. Here you have another one, the Early Reader's Bible. And they'll tell stories in there. And they here's a, a story about Noah. And it says, There was water all over all the world, but Noah and his family did not get hurt. God told Noah to make a big boat. He told Noah to take his family on the big boat. He told, to, told Noah to take many animals too. God was truly taking care of them all. And then the flood's over and yay, everything's okay. Uh, you're lying to a child when you read them this. There wasn't some kind of a bad natural disaster. God destroyed the earth because of man's wickedness. And Jesus said in Matthew 24 that it's going to be like the days of Noah before he comes back. We're headed right back to the days like it was before the flood. And you can see that if you know what's going on in society. Why would you lie to your kids? Why would you cover up Bible truth? You want to see the best uh, child story Bible that I've ever found? Right there. Read to your children from the King James Version. You know, let them make their own mental pictures. That's healthier for your brain anyhow. Okay. Now this one here. Oh, okay, there we go. Focused. This one here is another one that I am very much against. This is a King James Version. Um, they will oftentimes make an edition of the King James Version and pervert it with something, with some other reason. This is a Children of Collar edition. Now let me show you this thing. What they do in this, Jesus becomes a black man. Here you have Joseph and Mary and the little black baby Jesus. And it goes on through and, and time and time again you have a black Jesus Christ. And why they do that is because this is a racist Bible. They cannot accept the fact that Jesus Christ was Jewish. Jesus Christ was not a black man. Jesus Christ was not a white man. The Roman Catholics will depict him like this, blonde haired and blue eyed and, and oh so fair skinned and kind of effeminate. That's not Jesus Christ. Jesus was a carpenter and he was a Jew. He was not black. He was not white. Okay? He was a Jew. Stop covering up his race. And then we have this little ridiculous thing here. Uh, another one. This I don't think made it very far. Uh, it's just one of the most ridiculous things you'd ever want to read. The distilled Bible. Look at one here. This is supposed to be 2 Timothy. They don't give you verse numbers so you can't compare it. It says, they are trash cans and you are a golden goblet. Don't mix company. <laughs> and there's a lot of things in here. It's Again, I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'll, I'll probably uh, make some videos talking about each of these on my website. But uh, just incredible. Again, another attempt to get rid of the King James Version. But one of the most blasphemous that I've ever found is this thing here made by a guy named Rob Lacey. Um, this thing's just incredible. I, I just... I've, I haven't read the whole thing because I don't think I could make it through without throwing it in the fire. I mean, it's, it's just so corrupt, so perverted. This is worse than the message. It's worse than the distilled Bible. 